All right, so already got it done. We're gonna show you guys today how to make one of these. So this is a nitrogen needle setup for motorcycle front forks. It also works on mountain bike forks, even some of the newer suspension on the UTVs and some of the newer shocks that are out there are using a needle type fill valve. So very, very careful with this because it is very sharp and it is designed to actually poke the skin. So you don't want any accidents, so very be very careful. But I'll just show you guys really quick how to make this handy little tool. Very simple with a Schrader valve on the end. You guys already saw in the other video, and if you haven't, I will put the card on here or look up on the uh, corners. You'll see it, but to do this no loss air chuck, you can actually put this on the end of it. It gets a little bit heavy and a little bit cumbersome, so you have to be careful with it. You don't wanna just let it float on this needle end, but this will allow you to actually put a very minimal amount and a very precise amount of air, uh, nitrogen, CO2, whatever it is that you're using into the bladder uh, if it's on the front forks. You may not wanna use something like this in this particular case, just because the gauge may not be very accurate for picking up smaller increments. Uh, what you can do instead is you can actually use like a mountain bike uh, air pump. Uh, this is one from Fox. Uh, the link is down in the uh, description if you guys wanna see that one. Um, you can get this or there's a few different ones out there that you can use as well. So uh, very handy tool, very easy to use. It's got a digital gauge on it, so I like it. So yeah, so. Let's get this uh, get this done, and let's get to uh, to building this thing. All right, so let's talk about the things that we need for this. Very very simple. You have the Motion Pro nitrogen needle kit. Uh, I took it out of the packaging, but basically this is your needle here, uh, and this is the adapter setup that they use for that. It's got a nut on there, call it, and it's got a little. Uh, o-ring on there to help seal everything up then you're going to need a female female quarter pipe and then a Schrader valve adapter again quarter pipe links for these things are in the description so you guys can check those out there and then tool wise uh, 14 millimeter and then a 16 millimeter fits this a little bit loosely but you could go with a 9 16 and that'll do it but in this case, I'm gonna use our uh, handy vise here. Teflon tape as usual, so very, very simple. Uh, this one's actually a really short video to make one of these things, but it's very handy, especially for the newer type shocks uh, that use a needle type uh, to fill the nitrogen. So let's get started on putting this thing together. All right, so let's do a mock-up of this really quick before we do our assembly, make sure we got everything the way we need it. You've got your quarter female-female adapter here. Again, links are in the description. That's gonna go onto that. And then you're gonna put this onto the other end. This is a really simple tool to make. You guys saw, you know, we've got our uh, no loss air chuck uh, gauge over there. Uh, so that that's pretty much the mock-up on it. Uh, to actually do the assembly, let's uh, first get the Schrader valve side prepped. If you guys saw the last video, you know how this rolls. We're gonna do this in the opposite direction. I'm actually gonna try and use this little sliver here that's already that's already done. So I'm gonna place it right at the edge. And then we're gonna do a lap on here. Try and keep it nice and clean. That looks pretty good. Let's go ahead and snap it. Gonna compress it a little bit. Should do the trick there. Get this thing put away, keep it nice and neat. I realize that I got enough Teflon tape here for probably the next several years. So that is now ready for assembly. This already has like a pipe sealant on it, so we don't need to do anything on that one. Uh, we did need to do something with this. No need to do the inside threads on that. So let's get over to the vise and we'll get this thing together. All right, so first things first, we're going to set up our adapter into the vise. Again, I'm not using the soft gels on this because I want a really good grip on it. What we're gonna do is tighten that up. Careful not to smash your fingers. Get that in there. You don't wanna go wild on this because it is hollow, so you could actually warp this. So just hand tight, it doesn't need to be super extreme. First, we're gonna start with the nitrogen needle side. 
This is the Motion Pro one, so we take our 14 millimeter and we're gonna start moving this around. Now, something I like to do is actually use the box end on these kind of things when possible, uh, just to make sure you got a really good, really good grip. And as you can see there, it's gonna try and move on us. Now, unlike the gauge, there's really no clocking to this, so you just wanna make sure that you get a good, you know, a good torque on it. Again, don't need to go like hog wild, it is pipe thread, uh, so it is tapered, but you at least want it to be uh, pretty snug on there. So, you see I'm not holding the very end of the wrench, I'm just kind of right at the inside of it, and I'm holding it, pushing with my thumb to kind of help stabilize everything. And I think that's good enough. So, we've got that side on it, so we don't drop the O-ring. I'm going to take this and just screw that back into place flip it around let's get the same side that was in the vise back in there just for OCD purposes you may run into a little bit of interference here so you might have to go a little lower on there not a big deal now we jump onto this one we're gonna screw that in again box inside go to here do some laps Again, don't need to go wild on it, but you definitely want to make sure that it's snugged up pretty tight. You can kind of feel it when it's, you feel when it's, it's ready. So, I think we'll leave it there. This is what it looks like assembled. Really easy there. Now, I shouldn't have to, but I should say this. This thing is very sharp. It is a needle. So you have to be very cautious when moving this thing around. And actually, I wouldn't recommend putting it on the tool until you're ready to use it. Also, be careful, you don't wanna get any contaminants in here uh, for that one. So we'll put it together just for mock-up purposes, but remember, try not to leave the needle on there. You don't want this banging around in the toolbox and then causing, uh, causing damage to the needle itself. So again, be very, very careful. You are messing with something that's very sharp that is designed to poke the skin. And then place that back on there. And then same thing, you can come back onto this thing and get that tightened up and you are good to go. So now you're ready to do some, uh, some shocks. You can do the forks on the motorcycle or you can also do mountain bike forks. You can use a small pump like this. Usually the forks on, uh, on the motorcycles or on mountain bikes, they're not a really high pressure. Well, the high pressure side on the mountain bike forks tends to be a little bit more Motorcycle forks are not that much, so it's very easy. Remember, you are using a sharp edge. You want to always stabilize that. Make sure you're not just bouncing it around. You don't want a piece of needle down in the uh, in the bladder. So, but that's it. Pretty simple to do. Ready to use. Remember, remove this for storage, and then uh, throw it in the toolbox, and you're ready to go. Oh, if you want to add a little bit of bling, like I did to the other gauge, Tusk makes these cool aluminum caps. Really inexpensive and just make everything look a little bit more pro. So you can see I got the matching one on there. Other than that, that's a wrap. Links are down in the uh, in the description so you guys can build one of these. Kind of a handy tool, I don't know. I'm probably gonna use it three, four times in its entirety, but uh, it's good to have. I like having the right tool for the job uh, if and when it's needed, so you're good to go. All right, don't forget, like, share, subscribe, all that fun stuff. See ya.